then you would do something like this. Garden coach Jess Zander cuts back an overgrown tree outside this Medford home. Just leaving a little bit of stump. So that opens things up quite a bit. She's helping to clean up Jesse Schiller's yard. She goes from town to town giving advice to local homeowners so they can get the most out of their gardens. Jess has a big presence on social media. Her You Can Do It gardening videos have brought her hundreds of thousands of followers. You've got the hookra, coral bells, the brunera, the foam flower. She has advice to ensure your yard is looking as good as it can this summer. First, watch out for invasive okay. plants. That's the first thing I look for. I'm doing a sweep. I'm always seeing something. She finds black swallowwort in Jesse's yard. You've got to get it by the root and you've got to get it before it goes to seed. Next, shop your own garden. You just kind of circle around it and grab a piece. Splitting and transplanting flowers and other plants will save you money and don't be afraid of killing them off. You can divide your plants and they'll be just fine. Watering is clearly key to a happy, healthy garden, but how often do you need to stay on top of that? If you put your finger in the soil and it's dry, you need to water more. And if it's moist, you don't need to do anything. And if it's super saturated, you're either overwatering or it's been raining a ton and you don't need to water. And set yourself up for success next year by pruning when your plants are done blooming. So it's the lilacs, the rhododendrons and azaleas. They're now coming to an end soon. So you get in there and you prune. Tips to keep in mind now for a lush garden. In Medford, Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.